Oh, welcome. I am the Moonshin King of the Sanctuary. Um, today I'm doing a uh, request by Trump and Chili, Trump and Chill Music, who commented on my Nightwish singer solo song, Taja Otanabom song. Uh, do someone by Nick Natoli. And I found Nick Natoli only has 4,000 subscribers. I think he is a, uh, YouTube independent creator, an indie person, but I don't know if he has a label or if he sells this music or if it is uh, just um, free on YouTube. So, official lyric video, 70,000 views. Let's go. Only less than three minutes, so I won't waste my time to be longer than my lime. Three, two, one, go. Everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone. Okay, pretty quickly, I think I'm getting the idea of what this song is about. Everyone wanna be someone other than who they are. Who you are, and my motto. Um, those who follow me closely might be aware. My motto of the century is currently you do you to you There goes my laptop if anyone wants to donate and help me to purchase a computer or another laptop I'll put my paper below because I am Great anxious about this anyway um, Interesting we have a, a snake as the art on this um, lyric video does that represent something, I wonder? Temptation, possibly, let us discover. One. Everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Yeah. Cocaine white like Madonna. Good girl gone real bad like Rihanna. Ain't nobody really wanna be. Cocaine white like Madonna. Everyone wanna be bad like Rihanna. I get the Rihanna uh, part, I guess, but I don't get the cocaine white. Drugs! Drugs, drugs for sure. But how does that relate to Madonna and being white? Oh, is Madonna known for doing... Um, that I, I, the first thing that came to my mind was skin color. Like, people are trying to be white. But then I'm thinking, maybe Madonna is known for doing drugs. And people are copying, possibly. I don't know about that, about Madonna. But, um, I don't want to be sued either way. So let's move on. Who they are on another planet, but they trying to be a star. They like cutting up their face, Mike Jackson. Everybody looking like a clone Kardashian. Okay, cutting up their face like Mike Jackson. I'm assuming that's meaning Michael Jackson. And then it mentioned, who did it mention? Uh, everybody Somebody looking. looking like a clone Kardashian. Ah, everybody clone Kardashian. Oh, stop! Clone Kardashian. So this is about, this is what about looks. And how, I guess, people look at celebrities and want to look like them. Or the celebrities aren't happy with how they look either. Uh, so I guess it works both ways. Either people emulating uh, their ce celebrities like Kim Kardashian, everyone is trying to copy her looks, trying to look like her, maybe going to the extent of surgery, or, and it's also mentioning, well, I suppose it uh, is referencing self-esteem issues and uh, self-identity, and everyone just copying others and not being happy in your own uh, skin. Um, yes, let's continue. I'm very happy in my skin, as, uh, as you can tell. I'm very proud of my features, and uh, very, I, I, I display myself with great pride and dignity. I, I hope uh, that comes across in my videos to you. He wishes like a lad there. Everybody trying to be like Oprah with the cash, man. No, no, you're not the Wayne, you're not the motherfucking rock. No, you so now he's criticizing people for having wishes, which is interesting step. Uh, what else did it say? 
Oprah with the cash. Um, so everyone wants to be rich. Everyone has dreams to be celebrity or famous uh, or rich. Did I say rich? I'm not sure. Um, I am quite crazy, you know. I can't keep track of what I say half the time. And it's understandable to have such dreams, to wish you had a magic lamp to, uh, to make your, your, your wishes come true and to gain the things that you want from life. But this person, this Nick Natoli is saying no, no to you. I wonder if he has a better solution. I would uh, gladly take a, a lovely lamp from from Aladdin. I'll rub it to my heart's content. But you'll only get three wishes. What would you wish for if you had Aladdin's magic lamp? Or is it the genie's magic lamp? Whose lamp is it? You tell me. We need a lawyer in here, I think. Tell me your three wishes for you. Bringing that Jenny from the Marfa. Jenny? From the... Ah! Wait, I don't know any Jenny. Block. No, you're Block. not Steve from your motherfucking job. This should make you really wonder who the fuck you are. No, you're not the people that you came from or made you. No, you're not the people that you stand for or hate you. No, you're not the grade that these motherfuckers grade you. No okay, he's throwing a lot of information at us in, the, in these bars. Uh, where to start? Who, who knows? Maybe we're not clever enough. You're not the people that you stand for. If I stand for the elves, I fight for the rights for elves to live in society as equals. That doesn't make me an elf. Um, let's see. You are. No, you're not the people that you came from or made you. The people that came from or made me. So I'm guessing that means my parents. I am not my parents. That's a good message to have because some people's parents might not be um, who you aspire to be or wish to be judged by their standards or um, maybe you have different ideas in terms of morality or how you should live your life or perhaps uh, they have committed great acts great crimes against humanity maybe you are the son of Hitler and you don't wish to be judged by your father's crimes you tell me what crimes do you not wish to be judged by? Mmm. Yummy to you. you. No, you're not the people that you stand for or hate you. No, you're not the grade that these motherfuckers... I'm not sure why he put in hate you. Uh, let me go back. What is the meaning? You're not the people that you stand for. Or hate you. No, you're hate not you. Ah! I don't get it. Anyway. Maybe I'm missing my tooth. Grade that these motherfuckers grade you. No so that's clearly about school, the education system, and how people might feel restricted by grades A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and um, might might dampen their spirits a little, might think they are useless or aren't worth anything in society or in their social circles, perhaps because they are. In, the, in terms of education, they are failing at uh, everything, so... Yes, it's good to not, not be put down by d letters or numbers like in that way. There's always potential for you to grow, always a chance that you will find your place in your universe or your bathroom and you do you to you. You can do it for sure, and you can do it for um, for all. It's interesting uh, how when you're when you're young, really young, what you dream of being, and then when you get older, what you actually become. Um, quite sad, really. But, 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 here we are. I haven't turned out so bad, have I? You tell me to you what I mean to me. Oh, you're not a god that these motherfuckers pray to. Gotta know what's something just to run and entertain you. We got a lot of false prophets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Going fast again. Uh, so, um, 
Where are we? From 106, um... So, I, I think that... I won't pause too much, but I think that was a... A, maybe a dig at celebrities or people who are very full of themselves, so to speak. Have a high opinion of themselves. You are not a god that people pray to. I'm assuming that's what that meant. Um... I'ma be me and let the motherfucking rage through. I know I gotta expose all the fakes too. Someone, everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Every so he mentioned fake fakes, and I think there is a lot of fakery uh, with celebrity, with people just trying to be popular, even if they aren't famous. Even people on YouTube who are trying to be um, something other than what they are. Not me! Not me! As you can see, I'm very open, very honest, very truthful about my origins. And uh, my story is very clear if you are you and I am you. So, so, um... Oh, we have two snakes now on the, on the background. Or in the foreground of the background. But I feel people just say what they feel the public want to hear and then they get extra credits, extra social media points, public praise and support. And then I feel in private a lot of these celebrities say something completely different. Same with politicians, they just say whatever people want to hear and then in private just to advance their career, just to make more contacts just to get a better job, or maybe an acting part, or, you know, if they said the wrong thing, no one will work with them. They lose friends, they lose uh, uh, co-workers, they lose opportunities in the industry, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, politicians uh, can, can um, rise through the ranks if they are popular and say the right thing. But I feel a lot of these people don't really believe a lot of what they say on uh, certain issues, uh, certain topics. But even just on a smaller level, in school for instance, people just want to fit in. That's really the key thing. People will say anything just to fit in and be uh, accepted. But anyway, let's continue the crimes. Everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Yeah. You should see the power in yourself. Cause you the one to buy up all the bullshit on the shelf. You the you the you the ones that worship all the wealth. Then wonder why your life's not Brady and Giselle's yo. Lifestyles are the poor and nameless, but you pray for <clears throat> You are buying all the crappy things on the shelf. People just slap a logo on something or a brand on something and everyone goes wild. It reminds me of Star Wars uh, for some reason. But you know, any, any brand, clothing brand, music, people just um, go crazy. I, I think it comes from uh, infantile behavior. When you're a little baby, you just love things that are if you love someone who's famous or a certain movie franchise and you want everything, you want the toys, you want the stickers, the the wallets, whatever merchandise they have. And then it goes into adulthood as well. Yeah, and it becomes sort of like, it, it's just the same behavior, sort of cultish um, uh, in a sense, but um, doesn't mean it's necessarily, you know, evil or negative it can all be very positive for you but i suppose when you give so much of yourself to to another being or another organization or group or band or band or brand then you lose some of yourself um i i i guess one way of looking at it another way would be that is all part of who you are, and they might have shaped who you are, but I suppose that's the point. These uh, big brands are shaping the way the public thinks and feels, and how they, what they buy, and how they act. 
it could go in a good way, could go in a bad way. But who are you? Who would you be if you were not so influenced by all these forces? I wonder to you. Lifestyles like the rich and famous. Hands up if you all know what the game is. I'm a real rapper, so I'm really gonna say shit. Feeling too honest. And ah, this line was about being grateful. There are people with nothing, so to speak. Not probably not literally nothing. Well, uh, the, I don't see those very often, but I'm sure they're out there. Well, I don't see anything very often. I'm just in this room. Or, uh, well, am I in a ship, you tell me. Anyway, but, um, a lot of issues in society with the poor and the helpless, relatively. Um, and yet, people who have it much better and who are very lucky still, still cannot be happy. Still want more and more. It reminds me of, uh, you know, you get a new phone, the latest iPhone, for instance. You've been wanting this for ages. That's your number one thing at the moment. And then you get it. And then you treasure it for like a week. And then it, it's just another object. It's just, it just becomes part of your surroundings. Another one of your little things that you tinker with, that you look at. And you, you take things for granted. You, then you want the next thing and the next thing. And I think that's... It, some would say very bad, of course, but it's also, I think, part of human nature to do that because I don't think it, uh, if we would have gone to space if we didn't have that mentality. Landed on the moon, for instance. What was the point of that? You tell me. Did it happen? You tell me. But regardless, that sort of ambition only comes from not being grateful. If we were grateful then we wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. But then I suppose neither would guns and bombs and uh, plastic. Those would never have existed either. But <laughs> a lot of people would say we're very lucky in this century. A lot of people would say we are going backwards. So is it a good thing or a bad thing to have all these technological advancements? We might just destroy ourselves. But the point is, that we wouldn't be here if we were just content with everything that we had to begin with. So that's that's the nature of uh, of your being. But here we are. But it does affect people on an individual level when they are glorifying, looking above but not looking down at those below who have less than you. Always, always looking up. And that means if you're always looking up, then you think quite lowly of yourself because you're, of course, at the bottom in your, in your mind. Nobody gonna play this real spit, man. This is one for the ages. Real shit, man. This here one for your playlist. Oh, he's dope, but I can't remember what his name is. No, no, you're not Dwayne. You're not the motherfucking rock. No, you're not Jenny from the motherfucking block. No, you Pausing at two. Just checking. Okay, I got low disk space at the moment. Anyway, uh, so I just paused, stopped recording, just so that gets saved. And now I'll make a new file. So he, this is clearly a song not to dance to or jive to. It's really one that is a message. It's, it's to give a message to people. Um, I guess it's something this person feels strongly about or wanted to express. Not a, another love song, not another dance song. It's, um, it tackles some issues in, that might be more relevant in society today than ever. But people always say, oh, it's, uh, it's all more, most applicable now than in any other time in history. But, you know, everyone always says that. Probably every generation, but here we go. You're not Steve from your motherfucking job. This should make you really wonder who the fuck you are. Someone, everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone but you. they self. 
Yeah. Someone. Everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Everybody won't be someone but they self. Yeah. Yeah, Nick Natoli, someone. Facebook, Instagram, go. So, <clears throat> that was an interesting experience to you because it's probably unlike any song that I've reacted to so far on this channel um, that I understood the lyrics to anyway. <laughs> Maybe I've had a 50 songs like that, but never realized. Uh, but I will say that um, it was a song to make people think about their lives and who they are, their identity, and who they admire, I suppose, um, and who they're trying to be like, emulate, and um, what they're trying to achieve with their dreams. Um, it was sort of a song of frustration also, I felt, as if he's looking every day, seeing these things, maybe on, probably online, seeing uh, people acting a certain way and feeling very frustrated about the state of uh, humanity. And so he, he had uh, the inspiration to uh, write a song about it. How are you? And how are me? Always remember my motto of the century You do you to you! And uh, that will uh, serve you well, uh, I suspect, if you, um, if you pay little attention to you. But tell me your thoughts on this song. What did you think of it? Anything that struck you as highly intellectual? Anything that... Uh, that provoked you into uh, with tears of madness. Uh, do you uh, agree with this song? Do you disagree? Is it not so simple? Are there greys and stripes and spots that cannot be ignored? Tell me your existential crisis. Tell me your pains and your crimes and what you hope to do in your world. Do you have regrets about uh, ways you've behaved in the context of this song? Do you, are you trying to change? Are you on a, uh, a mission, a path of self-discovery? Or are you just con already content with who you are? I think that's the question of the millennium, indeed. But anyway, farewell, my moonshins. Take care. And my moon shins. <laughs> Ooh, ah! <laughs> Thank you.